Hey, what's going on? I am Greg Sussman, joined today by Tom Vecchio of FanDuel, who's here to break down the top values on the board in Week 15 in Daily Fantasy. What's going on, Tom? I'm doing good. We have 11 games. We have a Saturday slate. We have a Thursday slate, a Monday slate. There's plenty of football, so let's go. We have so much to talk about. So let's start with the Miami Dolphins, who are maybe without all of their pass catchers. Mike Gusecki and Devontae Parker and Jakeem Graham, Preston Williams, we already knew about. Matt Breida, half his offense is injured. One player who's not, well, that's Lynn Bowden, third-round pick of the Oak of the Las Vegas Raiders. You almost got me there. He's $5,000 here on FanDuel, and Bowden just showed quite a bit of talent here last week for this Dolphins team. Is this a real connection with Tua? We're buying this here going into Week 15? It's one of those things that might be a necessity for the Dolphins. Like you said, they're dealing with so many injuries. You know, last week, Parker didn't play the full game. He only had two targets. Uh, but after he left, we saw Bowden step up. He had nine targets, seven receptions, 82 yards. They also gave him a rushing attempt, you know, giving him some multi-use uh, potential when it comes to scoring fantasy points. Uh, this game doesn't have the greatest over-under. It's seeing at well, 41 and a half or 42 for the uh, against the Patriots. But if Parker misses and Jakeem Grant misses and Gusecki misses, and, you know, they're not going to have 40 passing attempts, but if they have 25, 30 passing attempts, we could see eight or nine targets again for Bowden. So I'm taking him if those players are missing, especially Parker. If he is out, that's when I want to be going to Bowden. Without Javante Parker, Tua Tagovailoa needs a top wide receiver. And last week with Parker gone, that was Lynn Bowden. He's priced at just $5,000 on FanDuel. We'll see if Lightning can strike twice, especially against New England. Oh, next, we move over to the running back spot, and you're going with an old favorite, Jeff Wilson Jr. of the San Francisco 49ers. He's priced just under $6,000 at $5,800. he has been heavily involved in the 49ers game plan, certainly around the goal line. Why do you expect more of the same from JWJ? Exactly. You kind of hit on one of those things, the goal line attempts. And last week we saw four total rushing attempts for the 49ers in the red zone, three of which came from Wilson. Now we know that uh, Raheem Mostert is dealing with an ankle injury. If Mostert plays, again, not on Wilson. We're dealing with so many injuries late in the season that we have to be paying attention to this up until you know game time and when we get those in, in that inactives on Sunday morning. So Last week, we saw Raheem Mostert play on 49% of the snaps. We saw Jeff Wilson play on 48% of the snaps. So we know he's involved in the game in some capacity to begin with. And, and if he's going to be the lead back against the Cowboys, that is where we want to be attacking the Cowboys line. 22.9 of FanDuel points per game to opposing running backs. That's the sixth most in the league. So again, another injury situation we have to wait on. And if he does, uh, if Mostert is out, that's when we want to be going to Wilson. If there's no most, or Jeff Wilson Jr. is highly attracted. Yes, the San Francisco, San Francisco 49ers will wind up using other running backs. It's going to be frustrating. I get it. I'm, I'm already prepared for it. Without most, or you could pretty confidently say that the majority of the carries will probably go to Jeff Wilson Jr. and certainly in the red zone, as we've seen over the past couple of weeks. Final player on the list this week, we go back to wide receiver. And for a player that's actually more expensive than Lynn Bowden, it's Darnell Mooney. Mitchell Trubisky coming off a win for the Chicago Bears. And while Mooney may not be the guy, you like him, Tom. How come? Yeah, so we, we know that Allen Robinson is the number one receiving option for the Bears. That is very clear. But with the second most targets, we have Mooney on the season. He has a 14.57% target share. Uh, really, this matchup is something that we want to be attacking. I mean, we've been uh, looking to find receivers against the Vikings all season. It's not changing now. They're around 35.0 fan points per game. Two opposing wide receivers, that's the third worst in the league. I think that this is one of the games that could have a little bit of a back-and-forth action. Uh, you know, we have viable offensive options on both sides. Uh, among the main receivers for the Bears that have 20 or more targets, uh, we actually see Darnell Mooney coming with the highest A dot, sitting at 13.3, and he has the second most air yards on the team. So if everyone's going to be looking towards Allen Robinson, we know that. We can be getting a receiver who's generally involved in the passing game with the second most uh, targets who can get downfield against a weak Vikings defense. I like Mooney at 5,300. Allen Robinson, you're right. Unquestioned number one guy here for Mr. Trubisky. But Darnell Mooney's had a really nice season. And at this price, against a beatable Vikings secondary, well, I think we could take a shot here on Darnell Mooney. That's going to do it for us here on the FanDuel. Hurry up, Tom. We appreciate the time. We'll Make sure we stay close and uh, pay attention to all these injuries because a lot of our lineup on Sunday is going to depend on just that. Yep, pay attention and good luck this week. Absolutely. Thank you so much. And to round out the week, 
We'll talk to Jim Sonis tomorrow to go over the top stacks on the board here in Week 15. For Tom Becchio, I'm Greg Sussman. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy Thursday Night Football tonight, and we'll see you back here tomorrow for another edition of the FanDuel Hurry Up.